And Mark Liverman is here with me now. Mark, you've been covering this, and even Congress is sort of baffled by how things have unfolded. Yeah, that's exactly the case. Iran's leaders reportedly uh, believe the U.S. plan to attack them, leading them to prepare possible counterstrikes. Iran says war is not an option, but is skeptical whether real diplomacy is possible with the U.S. President Trump is hoping tensions with Iran subside. Mr. President, are we going to war with Iran? He told acting Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan the same thing. He does not want war with Iran. However, the American military buildup in the Persian Gulf region continues. The carrier strike group headed by the USS Lincoln has arrived in the Arabian Sea south of Iran. U.S. intelligence officials claim they have evidence of credible threats, including satellite photos of ballistic missiles loaded on Iranian boats to possibly strike targets on land. On Thursday, the White House briefed a group of top congressional leaders known as the Gang of Eight on that intelligence. And I would hate for this to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff is one of them. These efforts to ratchet up pressure on Iran with no guide path to where this is supposed to lead us uh, is leading us, in fact, to a very dangerous place. Classified briefings will be given to the rest of Congress on Tuesday. I'm hoping it's not too late, literally. I would tell the administration you should pick up the phone and call members of Congress so that we don't have a microphone put in our face. Ask us about why you're doing something and we have no clue. Tensions with Iran have escalated over the past year, ever since President Trump pulled the U.S. out of the Iran nuclear deal. So, Mark, we've been hearing from Iran's ambassador. He's sort of really plain spoken about his skepticism. Yeah, so in an interview with CBS News, he said the U.S. had gathered fake intelligence. But then in other uh, media interviews, he said he's not interested in escalating tensions. Mm. And he basically said the country had the right, though, to defend themselves. Mm. And what about our allies in the, in the region? What do they think? So right now we know Germany and the Netherlands both are pulling out in terms of training in Iraq. Okay, so that's one move, and, you know, the whole world is watching this unfold slowly. Uh, Mark, thank you so much. You bet.